kids, welcome back. We hope you're so well and thank you so much for joining us in our last week of our series, Truth Seekers. We are so excited because today we are going to finally solve our mystery. So I hope you're expecting for all that God is going to do in our hearts and let's stand up and worship together. Savior, have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love, I believe in the sun. Show me your
That was so awesome. Well done, guys. Now, I don't know if you can remember, but last week, Stevie and Parker found the secret entrance to a hidden staircase. I wonder what that's going to lead to. And we're going to find that out today. So I hope you're excited. And let's join them and count them down together. In three, two, one, action. To my dearest great-grandchild, in all the years I lived in this great manner, I discovered the answers to many mysteries that have tested my faith and helped me believe in things I cannot see. Now it's your turn to solve them for yourself. I've enclosed the first of many clues. If you so choose to follow it, you too will unlock the greatest mysteries of all time. I am excited for what you will soon find. All my love, Great Grandpa Piff Paff. Daddy? Well, I did not see that one coming. Oh. So you're telling me that the secret stairwell just led us back to the study? Parker, does that mean we have no more clues left? Well, not exactly. You see, earlier when I was reading that clue, you got so excited about your x-ray glasses, yes? but you didn't let me finish reading it. So there's more? Tell me what it yes. says. Okay, one second. Read it, read it. It says, when looking among the rocks, remember, not all doors have knobs and locks. Yes, I remember that. What you once could not see, look again to find what's sought out by men. Hmm. hmm. What you once could not see. That doesn't make sense. <gasps> Maybe there was something in the room that we couldn't see before. But yes. now we'll be able to see it. So okay. we should just have a look around. Let's look. Light. Light. Check. Okay. Books. Check. Telescope. Check. <gasps> Stevie. What? The telescope. Oh, Remember what? What? The last time we couldn't see through it. So yes. Maybe this time we will be able to. Okay. Okay. Let me look. What do you see? What do you see? Uh, what do you see? <sighs> nothing really. Just a bunch of stars. Okay. Let me look. Ha! Huh. Parker, this is interesting. All these stars are in the Orion Hemisphere. Oh. That means all of them are numbered from 40 to 200. Huh, okay. <gasps> well, Stevie, if this helps, there's a whole bunch of numbers at the back of this clue. And okay. all of them are between 40 and 200 as well. Parker, that's perfect. It is? Because if we chart these stars, they would give us our next clue. What? Chart the stars? How do you even do that? Let me show you. We chart the stars by using this. <gasps> wow, that is the coolest poster I've ever seen. I know, it's my star chart. Wow. So, you're gonna use the star chart. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna drop my bag. I'm gonna take the numbers, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna read you the numbers. Okay. And do you see how all the numbers are in groups here? Yes. And we are gonna connect the stars, and it will give us our clue. Okay. Can I have a pen, please? Yes, of course. Sorry, Parker. Might take me a while. Okay. There we go. Alrighty, let's do it. Okay. The first set is 41, mm -hmm. 47, 62, 44, and 30. <gasps> so if we connect those, what does that mean? <gasps> the letter B. Okay. Wow. So cool. The next set is okay. 81, 87, 60, 76, 60, 63 and 87. So what does that mean? <gasps> the letter E. Oh. So we have a B and, and an e. e. Okay. The next one's very short. Only right. three numbers. It's 81, 87, and 111. <gasps> what does that make? The letter L. Oh. Wow, Stevie, I'm so glad you know what you're doing because this clue would have had me stumped. I know. It's a good thing I'm the smart one, hey? Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. The next one is only two numbers, okay. 101 and 111. <gasps> what does that make? Like a line, an I. Perfect, so we have a B, an E, an L, and an I. Hey. Let's find out what the next one is. So, it's 137, 113, 116, 132, 116, 
119 and 143. Wow, that one was such a long one. So long, but what does it, it make? gives us another E. Okay, let's do the wow. next one. Okay. This is almost a word. 137, 159, and 169. What does that make? <gasps> a V. A V. Okay, we have one more letter. I'm so excited to yes. see what it's spelled. This is the last set. Are you ready? Yes. This one's long. 193, 169, 172, 188, 172, 175, and 199. Whew, that was Woo! long. So, so long. What, what's the letter? An E. <gasps> okay, now we can see what it's made. Let's see. <gasps> Believe. Believe. That's so cool. Okay. So Great Grandpa Puff Puff left us a clue that said believe. I wonder what he believed in. Hmm. February 21st. When I was younger, I often wondered if heaven was a real place. After reading the last book of the Bible, Revelation, I realized that it is in fact very real. One of Jesus' disciples named John got to see a picture of what heaven looks like. John describes a beautiful city, bigger than any city we could ever imagine. God used all kinds of amazing things to create heaven. There are big, tall gates made of giant pearls and decorated with all kinds of jewels. And the streets in heaven are paved with the shiniest gold that never gets dirty. Running right down the middle of heaven is a crystal clear river. It is so clear that it almost looks like glass. On either side of the river, there are lots of trees. The trees have so much yummy fruit on them, it's like if you went on an all-you-can-eat buffet of fruity goodness. In heaven, it's always light. That's right, there is no darkness. The sun and moon aren't needed there because God himself fills heaven with brilliant light. Once we get to heaven, you won't ever need another flashlight, light bulb, or even a night light in your room. Some of the wonderful things about heaven is there's no more death, crying, sickness, or pain. When you get to heaven, you will never have another runny nose or cold again. And if you were running and fell down, you wouldn't skin your knees. Can you imagine never visiting the doctor's office or needing a Band-Aid? No one is ever sad or mad in heaven because God is there and he wants everyone to be there with him. But there is only one way that we can go to heaven. We must believe in our heart that Jesus died for our sins and that God brought him back to life. Heaven sounds like such a wonderful place. And my hope and prayer is that everyone that I know would trust Jesus as their Savior so that we can all be together in heaven one day. Because heaven is a real place for people who believe in Jesus. Whoa! Parker, I think there's actually more to this clue than we thought, because do you remember it said what we couldn't see, we see now? Yes, and so we looked through the telescope. Yes, but I think what Great Grandpa Piffaf was wanting us to see is that if we believe in Jesus, that He died for our sins and rose again, then we have the reward of heaven. Yes. And that's greater than any reward on the whole of earth. Exactly, Stevie. I think he sent us on this whole adventure so yes. we could learn what it looks like to have faith and believe in Jesus. You're right, Parker. But there's still one thing that confuses me though. Great Grandpa Piffaf died several years ago. So how would he have sent us letters to solve the mystery now? Huh, I've never thought about it like that actually. I was just so excited to go on this adventure. Yeah. I didn't even stop to think about how we could have gotten those letters. Hmm. That's because I sent the letters. <gasps> who was, who was that? that? I, I don't know who that was. What? Wait a minute. What? Was that Jeeves' voice? Great Grandpa Piff's butler? What? No. Yes, I sent the letters. 
As I was cleaning out the manor after your great-grandfather passed away, I found them on his desk here in the study. Apparently, he was never able to send them to you. I knew that I needed to wait until you would be willing to attempt such a task as solving this mystery without giving up. Your great-grandpa, Piff-Paff, would be very proud. You each did a superb job, which is good because I believe he left more mysteries for you to solve. If you'd like to see what I mean, follow me. So it was Jeeves who sent the letters. Do you think he was here with us the whole time? Um, I don't know, but he must have known we were going to solve the clue soon. But also, who knew that Jeeves had such an adventurous side? Yeah. All I remember about him is he always used to shout at us, don't run down the hallways, stop yelling in the house. Yeah, I remember that, Stevie. But wait, what do you think he meant when he said there's more mysteries to be solved? Huh. Hmm. I don't know, but we should go find out. Uh-huh. Jeeves, wait for us! Do stop yelling in the house. Now, come along. Ah. Uh. See, I told you. Let's go. <laughs> oh my word, more mysteries. I wonder what kind of mysteries Jeeves was talking about. And maybe someday we'll get to join Stephen Parker as they solve some of these mysteries. But before we go today, I want to re review what we learned together. So do you remember the word that they had to find out? The, the clue was written in the stars and it spelled out the word believe. So they had to look for what great grandpa Piffbaff believed in and he told them about heaven. Heaven is a real place. And that's exactly what we need to know today. Heaven is real and people who believe in Jesus will go there someday. And the Bible gives us a whole lot of proof about how heaven is a real place. Even though we can't see heaven, we know it's real from what the Bible says. And that anybody who believes in Jesus one day will get to live in heaven with God forever. Isn't that amazing? Why don't you chat about it with your parents today and tell them all about what you learned today. And let's pray together. Jesus Thank you so much that you created a place called heaven, that it's so beautiful and that one day we'll get to live there and be with you forever. We are so grateful for everything that we learned from your word over these last couple of weeks. Help us to um, cherish those truths in our hearts and that we'll always um, remember who you are and what you taught us over these last few weeks. In Jesus' name, amen. Well done, guys. That was amazing. I hope you've really been enjoying the series and that you learned something. And remember, there's some discussion questions afterwards that you can do with your families and the memory verse that you'll be watching for the last time. I really hope you had so much fun and can't wait to see you guys next Sunday. Bye. Hey Sky Kids, we're so excited for our new memory verse for the next few weeks. And it's from 1 Chronicles 28 verse 9. And it says, For the Lord sees every heart and knows every plan and thought. If you seek Him, you will find Him. How awesome is our God? Why don't you do the actions with me? Remember, it's from 1 Chronicles 28 verse 9. And it says, For the Lord sees every heart and knows every plan and thought. If you seek Him, you will find Him. Why don't you practice the memory verse at home and we'll see you next week. Bye!